If you want a modern and professional website that gets you customers and grows your business, but you don't want to spend countless hours programming a website from scratch, then you're in the right place. I'll teach you how to easily build a website using WordPress and Elementor. I've used WordPress and Elementor for several years for my own business and my clients. I can honestly say it's one of the best platforms in terms of the creativity, the features you get. Really your creativity is the only limit. You have unlimited features, options, and customizations, and you can make a website that suits exactly your needs or a clients. First of all, let's talk about why WordPress. Right now, WordPress powers about 30 to 40% of all websites on the internet. Let that number sink in, and honestly, it makes a lot of sense. WordPress is really easy to use, it's customizable, you can scale it, whether you're a small business or an enterprise, and there's tons of plugins like Elementor that you can use to add more features and functions to your website. Really, the options are endless in terms of what you can do with the website and driving new business. But before you actually have a WordPress itself you need hosting. Elementor has website hosting in itself that actually hosts your website on the internet for people to see. And there's different kinds of hosting from shared hosting, VPS, and different platforms. Today we'll be focusing on the Elementor page builder and the hosting plans that they offer. Another really important aspect when it comes to building a WordPress website Elementor is SEO. Search engine optimization is one of the main ways I've grown my business and brand and some of my clients. And it's really important if you want more awareness and more customers and traffic coming to you organically and WordPress and Elementor are perfect for SEO. On the WordPress side, you can edit everything from your metadata, URL, and the page's content. And then Elementor has SEO features built into it, and it's very SEO friendly. And then if you get their hosting, it's built in a way that actually speeds up your website and improves how Google sees it. But with that out of the way, let's jump into the first step. And our first step is to get our Elementor hosting. I'm here on Elementor.com. You can click the link in the description to come right here. And we're gonna go over to the products tab right here and we're gonna do WordPress hosting. On this page, you'll see all the different features and benefits of the managed WordPress hosting, but most importantly, we can see the plans and pricing. As you can see, there is a basic plan that starts off at $10 a month, $20 a month, 23 and 50. Depending on the scale of your business and your needs, you'll move up the chain of plans, but even to begin, having the one website with the basic plan is perfect to start. This gives you 10 gigabytes of storage, up to 25,000 monthly visitors, 30 gigabytes in monthly bandwidth. You get two weeks of backup space, SSL, and a CDN from Cloudflare. Premium support, integrated caching tool. This gives you everything you need to host the website, make it fast and more accessible for everybody. And once you've decided on the plan, just click buy now. On this page, you can complete your purchase by entering your billing information and paying for the plan itself. Keep in mind, if you do the annual billing, you do get a discount. As you can see with the basic plan, we're saving $60 just by opting in for annual subscription. Inside of the Elementor dashboard, you go to subscriptions, you will click the Elementor hosting package, and then you'll see something like this. And you'll see that in this plan, we have one website available, and we wanna create a new website here. On this step, we enter in our brand name, click the next button once you have that there, and then we have a website kit to choose from. These are really cool because it saves you a ton of time from programming and coding a website from scratch. Instead, you can essentially use one of these templates to get something going right away. And there's 103 results right now, and then you can also go into different categories and filter it that way. For example, if we wanted more of a portfolio website, we would click that, and then we have all these different ones that we can choose from. I like the law firm template right here, so I'm gonna click start with this kit. Okay, our website is ready to go, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, here we are inside of the actual Elementor page builder, and we can get an idea of what the website looks like, even just by automatically putting in the kit. We, of course, have to edit it, add images, and align it with our own business and brand, but right out of the box, you can see how impressive it is, and that's really one of the main upsides to using Elementor, and why I've been using it for years, is just the sheer amount of time that it saves you, and honestly, the amazing websites it builds just like that. Now, editing with Elementor's page builder is actually pretty straightforward. You have the bigger sections and then the containers on the inside. Now, for example, if I wanted to edit this entire section right here, I would click this button or in the background to select it. And we have the layout settings in terms of the width, the height, positioning, vertical align, and more. There's also a structure down here that we can see it's 100% wide. We have styling where we can do the background, colors, typography, and similar settings. And then we have the advanced tab where you can do different things like optimize it for different devices, do custom CSS and motion effects. If I wanted to add something, I can go over here to the widgets and then I could drag it in. So for example, if I wanted to add in a button, I could search that and then I would drag and drop that in right here. And then we can also align it to the center and the text might be 
call now. For example, this is a service page or a service business, so we most likely want them to call the business in that case. And now also something you have to consider is editing the header and the footer, which is at the bottom of the page. And these are really important sections for your website because it involves the navigation and helping people navigate to a certain part of the website or giving them more links and information at the bottom. If we wanted to edit the header, we go over here, we'd click this, we'll save our changes right now, and we're now editing the header of the website. Now, a lot of this, once again, is placeholder information, so we want to update it. We put in the actual uh, information, we'd update the location, and then we have the menu right here, which is very important. Now, you can see that we can choose between the different menus that are on the website. Let me show you exactly in WordPress how we can create those and then how it reflects on here. Okay, let's quickly go over how WordPress works and how you can navigate the actual WordPress dashboard. So this is what it will look like when you're using the Elementor page builder and hosting. Depending on exactly the kit you install and the plugins you have, it might look slightly different, but for the most part, this is what the WordPress dashboard looks like. Over on the left, we have our dashboard and the update section. This page is really important for keeping your theme and plugins up to date to get the most features, but also keep your website secure. We have posts, which includes all of your blog posts and articles and content on the website. All posts will give you a list of all the articles on your website. You can click add new to create a new one. And then categories and tags you can set up to actually organize all of your blog posts. Now pages are the static pages that live on your website. Think about your home page, about page, service page, contact page. That's exactly where you're gonna find them here on WordPress. Comments is where you're gonna find people that comment on your blogs and articles, and you can moderate the comments. You can enable them, delete them, or respond to them. And we have the Elementor settings and different information here. When you install plugins, you'll see a new tab on the left now for that plugin where you can get more information and settings. We have the template builder and specifically the theme builder for Elementor, which is awesome because you can essentially set up different themes for the header, the footer, blog posts, service pages, and so on, and then use those across your website to save a lot of time. We have appearance where we can customize our themes and most importantly, the menus. Plugins where you can see all the currently installed plugins or add a new one. Users where you can manage your own profile and any other admins or writers on the website. And then tools and settings that give us more options for writing, reading, discussion, media, and more. Now inside, we wanna go over to the appearance tab and then menus. And you can see here that we can select a menu to edit. Let's do the main menu. And you can see right here, there's the home page about services, team, and contact. If you wanted to add any pages to the navigation, you just click one of them over here, click add to menu, and then you can also reorganize it exactly where you want. And you can also nest it and create drop downs. So for example, if I wanted careers to be under the contact page, I could do that. And now when somebody actually hovers over contact on the navigation, there'll be a drop down and they can see careers. And now you can see when we hover over contact, there's the careers and the updated navigation is there. Now we can also add our logo right here. If you click the logo tab, you can then change the site logo. You should also upload a favicon, which is that small little image right here that appears in the browser tab and adds to the experience and branding. Once you're happy with the header, we can scroll down and we can actually do the same thing for the footer. We're gonna click the edit footer tab. And now we can edit all the different information here. I think for a footer, it's always good to have that contact form for a service-based business. So we will keep that. And then what I'll do is I'll actually start deleting some of the things here if I didn't want them, for example. We click that X button. And then also something you can do is edit the padding and the margin if you want to give a little bit more space or take away from it on one of the sides. We have padding, which deals with the outside area of the section and margin, which is on the inside. This is some very staple, basic HTML and coding knowledge that will actually take you pretty far when it comes to design. And the nice thing about Elementor is that all of it works out of the box, but if you do have some programming knowledge, you have a lot more control and customization. But for example, maybe I want to add a little bit of padding on the bottom as well. And then we can change all the information here. We would update that to our actual information. These site links, we have the menu here. Let's change that to the main menu that we used before. And then we can see all the drop down menus here as well. We have our partners, practice areas, blog insights, which are the latest articles that I showed you on the WordPress dashboard. And now something very important to consider is you can apply the header and footer to specific pages and also take it away from specific pages if you want to design them in a very specific manner. How we do that is by navigating to the WordPress dashboard, going to templates and then theme builder. Now we wanna click the header, for example. 
and then you want to click edit conditions and now this is where we can essentially include it or exclude it on certain pages now for example if we wanted to exclude it on a certain landing page maybe we go exclude singular go to that specific page and then you essentially search it in here and then add it and then click save and close when you're done and that footer or header would no longer appear on that page let's edit the page a bit more to get an idea of exactly the customization here this is the title module that we can add that typically is really good to have on the above the fold section and we can change it just like that we can also have a link if people want to click that and go to a different page the size the html tag which is really important for search engine optimization as we talked about we can also edit the text right here if we wanted to these numbers are pretty interesting so you can have a starting number for example and then it climbs to that and you can edit the speed if we wanted to speed it up even more it would go there we can change the prefix or the suffix as well and you want to go section by section editing it and making sure it aligns with your business products and services and then you're good to actually publish this and have this live for everybody to see now do keep in mind when you have the elementor hosting you still have to purchase a domain name which you can also get right through Elementor. You can do that by going back to your Elementor dashboard and going to your hosting package and scrolling down to manage domains and then clicking buy a domain. And then type in a domain that you want for your business. Now keep in mind .com typically tends to be the most recognized domain. So try to use that if possible. Tech companies like to use .io. There's also more regional specific domains like .uk, .ca. But if you can go for a .com, that's ideal. You would essentially search it in here. They'll give you a price. Typically domains can cost around $15 per year to host, which isn't actually too bad. And then you get that for the entire year and you can continue to renew it. Now keep in mind some higher level or more very specific domains might actually be hundreds or thousands of dollars. But odds are if it's related to your specific brand or personal name, the domain will be pretty affordable. Another neat feature that will apply changes to your entire website as a whole is the global font and color settings. If you've ever done any kind of branding or design work, you know that going page by page and making sure that they're all aligned and similar can be a real headache. But that's honestly another part where Elementor really shines because if we go over to the site settings right here, we then have our global colors and global fonts. And this will apply those typography and color settings to all the pages and posts on our website instantly. So for example, we can do global colors and we can choose all the different colors for these different things. There's the backgrounds, primary colors, secondary colors, and we can even choose them right here. For example, if we want our primary color to be a little bit brighter, we could change it right there. The secondary color, perhaps we want to make it a little bit darker, we can do that. The text color, perhaps we want that black on pages so it really pops on a more white or lighter background. And then we will click the update button and then that'll be applied to the entire website. And we can actually go back and apply the same idea to our global font if we'd like to change the typography and make it a little bit different. So the primary font, for example, maybe we want to change that to something like Lado. It's a flat font, it's easy on the eyes, and that's one that I really like. And you actually see in real time what it looks like. And then we can go to the secondary. I will also make that Lado. I like that. And you know what? Maybe I want to make it normal in terms of the weight. I like that. A little bit easier on the eyes. And then maybe the text, we will also do Lado. And then actually I want it to be 16 pixels and 300 light for the weight. I really like that. And then I'll click update and that'll be applied to the entire website. But that sums up how to build a website with WordPress and Elementor. I hope you enjoyed this video and you followed along the steps. Make sure to click the links in the description if you'd like to get Elementor's page builder or their hosting plans. You can also get my free courses and other content down below. I wish you the best in your website building journey and I'll see you very soon.